Hello and welcome. I'm Saeed from StoryPlanet.net. Dive right into the essence of the most captivating books without reading them cover to cover. Whether you're on the go, at the gym, or just relaxing at home, we offer you a unique and enriching listening experience. Today, we are exploring the book, An Astronaut's Guide to Life on Earth, a creation by Chris Hadfield. Chris Hadfield, a test pilot and astronaut, shares his unique narrative as the first Canadian to venture out into space. In his compelling account, he provides valuable insights into various aspects of space exploration, encompassing the profound experiences of training, the awe-inspiring moment of liftoff, as well as the essential contributions to scientific research in space. Moreover, Hadfield sheds light on the unexpected obstacles that astronauts encounter, both on Earth and beyond, and imparts the wisdom he has gleaned from departing our innate abode and returning to the embrace of our planet. Even if your journey never takes you amidst the stars, you will discover a plethora of knowledge offered by these intrepid space travelers. Before we delve into these revelations, it's interesting to note that since being chosen by the Canadian Space Agency in 1992, Chris Hadfield has acquired a wealth of expertise making him one of the most seasoned astronauts globally. Additionally, he fulfilled various crucial roles, such as Director of NASA Operations in Star City, Russia, and Chief of International Space Station Operations from 2006 to 2008. With six key ideas to unveil, brace yourself for a deep dive into this captivating book on storyplane.net. To start, discover what it takes to become an astronaut and explore the exciting world of space exploration. In this book, you'll learn that being an astronaut is not just about spacewalking and enjoying zero gravity. A significant portion of an astronaut's life is spent on pre-flight preparations far away from family and home. Once in orbit, even the simplest tasks become complex, and returning home safely is a challenging feat. Through this book, you will gain insights into the lesser-known aspects of being an astronaut. Key idea number one, astronauts need diverse skills and undergo extensive training. Astronauts spend most of their time training, learning and studying. They possess a wide range of skills, from piloting rockets and repairing the space station to performing surgery and conducting press conferences. They must also have the ability to handle any crisis that may arise while in space, as they cannot rely on immediate rescue. The time spent preparing for space far exceeds the time spent actually being in space, with several months of training for each day in orbit. Overall, being an astronaut requires intense preparation and dedication. Key idea number two. Preparation is crucial for both life in space and life on Earth. Astronauts undergo intense training, including simulations of various challenging scenarios they may encounter in space. This prepares them to calmly and immediately respond to unexpected dangers, prioritizing threats and solving problems methodically. The training helps develop their improvisational skills and mental discipline, not only for space missions, but also for navigating life's obstacles. Astronauts become adept at solving complex problems with limited information in hostile environments. Key idea number three. Criticism plays a crucial role in the survival of an astronaut. Criticism is an essential tool for growth and success, especially in high-stakes professions like being an astronaut. At NASA, astronauts are constantly critiqued during their simulations to ensure their safety. Every mistake is carefully analyzed to prevent its recurrence. The purpose of this criticism is to create a set of guidelines called flight rules, which help astronauts confidently face challenges and avoid risky behavior. However, criticism should never be personal or mocking. It should be delivered calmly and objectively, focusing on the issue at hand. In the space industry, where teamwork is crucial for survival, maintaining a positive and supportive environment is vital. By embracing constructive criticism and learning from failures collectively, everyone can grow without feeling discouraged or belittled. This approach applies not only to space exploration, but to our all aspects of life and work. Key idea number four. Astronauts, being separated from their loved ones for extended periods, 
must discover alternative means to maintain emotional closeness. Astronauts like Chris Hadfield have to endure long periods away from their families during training and missions. Hadfield, for example, was only home for about 15 weeks each year, missing important occasions like birthdays and holidays. To make up for his absence, he planned ahead by sending his wife a card and gift in advance for Valentine's Day and announced that his crew would celebrate his son's birthday by lighting the rocket's engines. This teaches us that even in demanding jobs, it's important to find ways to connect with loved ones when we can't be physically present, reminding them of our love and commitment. Key idea number five, living on board the International Space Station is an exciting and rewarding experience, but it also demands utmost seriousness and dedication. The International Space Station, ISS, is a massive laboratory in space, similar to a long sailboat trip. Life on board is challenging, with no running water or fresh produce. Astronauts must maintain basic hygiene and exercise for two hours a day. Despite the lack of amenities, their work is vital. The ISS serves as a base for research and experimentation, advancing fields like medicine and robotics. Discoveries made on board have even contributed to Google Maps and nuclear power plants. Key idea number six. Reintegrating and adjusting to life on Earth after a space mission presents significant challenges. Astronauts return to Earth in the Russian Soyuz spacecraft, which can be a wild and rough ride during re-entry. The parachute designed to decelerate the capsule has even caught fire in some cases. After surviving the landing, it takes time for their bodies to red up to gravity. Each day in space requires a day on Earth to recover. Despite the physical discomfort, returning to Earth can be a transformative experience. Astronauts often have a newfound appreciation and inspiring perspective on life. In conclusion, becoming an astronaut may seem exciting, but it comes with challenges. Years of preparation, criticism and physical stress are involved, along with long periods away from family. In space, your crewmates are your only support system in case of trouble. Despite the hardships, being an astronaut is a fulfilling experience that offers a unique perspective on life. For those who find themselves sacrificing time with loved ones due to work, it's important to plan ahead. Make up for missed events by arranging thoughtful gifts and special messages to ease the distance between you. Thank you for listening to this summary. If you enjoyed this exploration, we invite you to discover other fascinating books on StoryPlanet.net. Don't wait any longer. A multitude of books, stories and knowledge await you there. See you soon on StoryPlanet.net.